Good morning, Rap Boy Sai. Ah, Lilu, you should be more serious for Mordechai. Boy Sai, we have a beautiful daf today. And before we go on, I just want to point out those people who donated towards the monthly, the daily, Yaakov Goder, $360 a month. Comes out to $12 a day, I think. Michael Yehuda, $36 a month. Peter Berger, $36. Akiva E. Boaz, $18. Bob K, $1. Every amount is valuable. Zalmi Raskin, 18. Joseph Weber, 36. Ruben Tober, 30. Simcha Gross. These are the people that donated a dollar a day. Simcha Gross. Moshe Ambender. If you make noise, you're going on the list. Ted Fishman. My voice said, listen to this one. Nathan Kushnud. Nathan Kushner, you guys remember him? He sent us a very Hergish Dicky email. He moved here with his two boys, then he moved back to Los Angeles. Here he is. Givaldic used to be a very successful DJ before he became a Baltruva. Yitzi Grossberg, Mendel Yudin, Yanko Cohen, Moshe Wilner, Jared I. Duncan, and Barry, Barry Asman. Yishur Koyach, everybody. This is from the Heilige Dove Harris, the one and only Dove Harris from London. He did a raffle, two tickets times two. In other words, four tickets, Teretz Yisrael. London, Teretz Yisrael. For anybody who knew that joins or even people, I'm not sure if it was even people. He did something for people that were part of it and they gave him the information and everything. So these are the winners. Our boys say, I couldn't believe it when I saw it this morning. You could turn off the speaker. It would be excellent. Huge mazel tov to Shuli Myers of Golders Green. Shuli Myers is his wife and my wife were best friends for the years that we lived in Eretz Yisrael. I believe it's the same Shuli Myers. I know that he moved. He's a Talmud Chacham. I believe he gives shiurim even. You know him? Yes, he gives shiurim. There you go. So it's a pella that Shuli Myers. It's again just like when I, when Jonathan Stefanski won the room. Everybody said oh, it's. it's I didn't know that, I don't know, I have nothing to do with the London thing. They have, oh, and Asher Benedict of Stanford Hill. Oh, you know what? I might be related to Asher Benedict. Seriously, the Stefanskis are related to Benedicts. The Benedicts and Stefanskis. That's how it goes. But you know what? MDY, we're all mishpacha. They have each one a pair of round trip flights, there's this roll. To come to MDY headquarters because he never puts money in. First you have to put money in and then you can win. To experience a live show with Rebelli where we hope Rebelli will be there. See you attached for Nachas. Looking forward to seeing you soon, Amir Hashem. Thank you for the daily inspiration. Dov. Yishkoyach Reb Dov. Dear Rebelli. To, to get people to join Baba Kamo. Guys, guys. It's one thing that you guys, nobody said, ah, when I said good morning, Rabbi Yisai, but to make so much noise during the emails, Nachman. Two years ago, to date. Okay, I don't care what you're talking about. Just quiet. Two years ago, to date, I watched your interview on meaningful people. The very next day, I got up very uncomfortable at a very uncomfortable time in the morning and started with you, Mesechus Megillah. Two years later, I'm still here on Zoom. Last year, some Chacham wrote in response to my email that it's useless to be counting anniversaries, so let me say a zoi. The Vilna Goy remarked that at each juncture of accomplishment in one's life, a yid has to remember to thank Hashem for the Siyat Shmai he was granted. Thank you, Hashem, for your belly. Your Talmud from Megillah Daf Beis, Matis Kos. Kos. P.S. Still waiting for it to change my life. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. <laughs> on the Shabbat, on the Shabbaton, I don't want to talk about it again, but I'm forced because of this line. My Chavrusa from Passaic, not Yaakov Mordechai Zax, but his brother Hill Zax, who was the biggest master that I knew growing up. 
massive, massive. Then I, Ada Yomazai is a huge massive. The son came over to me and told me that he does the daf already for a year or two years, every single day, and that I should know it hasn't changed his life. <laughs> so I'm sitting there and arguing with him. My wife is there. I'm really embarrassed. And I'm saying, what do you mean it didn't change? Nothing? Zero? No, nothing. So I'm like, you sure you did it every day? He goes, yeah, I missed a 10 dav. I mean, one masechta, maybe in two years, that's it. But every day. I said, how's it shy? What, you don't feel a, a growth in your shemayim, inconsistency? No, nothing. Okay. To my luck, his wife walks by. He says, oh, this is my wife. I said, tell me, did the, jaf, did the daf change your husband's life? Ooh, why did it change his life? And she starts telling me, he's this, and that, and he's turning colors. And I said, but he said it didn't change life. He says, it's very hard for a person to feel the changes in himself. Matis! Check your v'chaza, it changed your life. Ask your wife. <laughs> she wrote the email. Dear Abeli, here's a woman who wrote an email for her husband. My husband is on his third time through the daf. This time, this last time with you, I want to thank you for the enthusiasm and joy which he learns. Though we live in Queens, we have five children living in Eretz and We visit always try to make this year in person. In fact, some of our grandsons accompanied him to the shir. Does anybody remember him? Oi, I don't have his name here. I think I have his name. Eliza B. Um, what's his name? No, no, no. Here's his face. Here. Uh, in fact, some of our grandsons, uh, thank you for bringing the daft to life for him. I can't believe his, uh, his last name. You guys have to remember his last name. Thank you for bringing the daft to life. It starts with a B, I guess. Uh, uh, and forming this admirable group of men that he's now part of. We, are able to, we were able to attend the Malkin, Connecticut last month. It was wonderful to be part of it and hope to spend all Shabbos at the next Shabbaton. We recently went for a few days and I caught this picture of him on the plane and that's the husband. What? Izzy Bachner. There you go. Yishkoyach. Rabbi Yisai, the Masech sponsor for the unity of Am Yisrael. We apologize to Dr. Mayor Wickler, who was also at the Shabbaton. He brought, he put this in yesterday, and we missed it by mistake. Lili Nishmas, Imi Merosi, Soradino Bas, Moshe Fry, Molea Shalom. Oh, Matis, you have something to say? Let him say something, no? You don't have his mic. Okay. I know we were supposed to, at the turning of the daf, we were supposed to go to Zoom, and he has a whole drush up appeared, and it keeps on growing. It's like a two-hour <laughs> speech by now. Matis, mazel tov, mazel tov. One minute, we don't hear you, so word, just say w- w- something with your lips that maybe we could read. Ah. Ah. <laughs> no, no, no. MS, MS, did it change your life? Now that you're on, did it change your life? <laughs> wow. Okay. Where's your wife? Where's your wife? No, 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 no. It's okay. It's okay. Stop, stop, stop. Enough busha. I had enough busha. Okay. Uh, the parents said, Yoim, you think I've real in honor of Shimi Rap for getting us to join the DAF two years ago today? Another person that's here for two years. A boy says, Shloimi Dax himself, in honor of you, my son Moishi's upcoming wedding, January 24th, and Mayor Balaness. I thought his email was in here. I put it, I, I'm pretty sure I put his email. He gave a bigger donation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, how come it's not here? <laughs> that's weird. Okay. Maybe it's going to be somewhere in the charts. Yeah, he gave a $400 donation because of all the monthly givings in honor of the monthly givings. In honor of this, Rabbi Yisai, he also was the chazan for Kabbalah Shabbos, the famous Shlomi Dex, the singer, Yishkoyach Gadol. Beautiful job. Aaron Korda, in memory of my mother, Shoshana Bat Sadi, Zichron of Rochu, Zyortzad is Bet Tevet. The art of the month, Yosef Ben Chayo Soro, for the schusim that come from supporting Limurat Torah. We need a new sponsor for the art. Each artist is $5,000 a month. Each. <clears throat> Here we go. We are on Daf Memala from the Bays because we had a very, very late start. We have new equipment which didn't work, and today, Baruch Hashem, everything is working. Givaldic. I have a Shaila for the Oilam. A woman has a $2 million life insurance policy on herself, and 
she passes on. Who inherits the policy? The husband or the children? Who's the beneficiary? <laughs> now, typically, if it's written inside that he's, the husband is the beneficiary, you'll get, let's say, Louis Tsui, there's such a thing, it, it just says to the inheritors, whatever. Who inherits the insurance policy? You'll be surprised to learn that a husband doesn't inherit it. He inherits, he inherits everything. But perhaps the insurance policy is different. Why? Because it's something that comes after her death and it's called ra'u'i kibimuqsaf. It's benefit that happened after. Okay, let's see inside Rabbi Yisai Tona Rabbanon. We'll just go back a little bit. We'll fly through it because we did it, but we need to do it again. Tona Rabbanon, uba'ashur naki. So just to remind the oilam, here's the chart. The, the posig's on top, uba'ashur naki. And yesterday we learned that it comes to say that shochat achar gemar din doesn't work. Now we have, we're talking about Chatsi Koi for now, and we're going to see that it comes to say, oh, yesterday we also had Oiroi. Today we're talking about Chatsi Koi for what could this possibly come to say? Uba Shonaki, that the owner of the bull is wiped out, he's potter. What does that mean, potter? Uba Shonaki, Rebeleza Oimir, Noki, Mechatsi Koi for. You see, on top, another Pshan, Chatsi Koi, meaning if the bull never damaged anybody, any kill someone, so you don't have to pay a half a Koi for like a Tam. I don't think you have to pay half, like everything else that a time does. Not in this case. What you're saying makes no sense. We know that a time, you only go after his own body, whatever he's worth. Now you have to kill him. A bull that kills a human being, you kill him. So what are you going to do? Take the dead carcass of this bull. So the owner says, okay, very good. You want me to pay you? Here, here's the dead bull which is worth absolutely nothing because it's Osir Bahano. Take this to the Bezim, maybe Bezim will be able to do something with it. So what's the Chiddush? Of course a Tam doesn't pay Koifer. The only way you can get Koifer is from his body, you have to kill him. Thank you, You don't know how to say it, especially you want to say it here in Hebrew. You know who I am? Anyways, why, why Rabbi Kiva, you look at me like that, that I didn't think about this? I'm not talking about a bull that was... Oh, it doesn't matter, I said them yesterday. I'm not talking about one that's Chayv Misa. I'm not talking about one that's Chayv Misa. Oi, alpi ba'alim. We're talking about an animal that killed somebody, but only alpi edechod. When you kill an animal, you, just like by a human being, you need two edim. So too by an animal, you want to kill the animal, you need two edim. But over here, there's one aid, or the owner himself testified. So, but he needs a kapara or he, whatever for the money. Fine, pay, but you're not going to kill him. So I'm talking about in the case that you think that there's a koifer because there's only one aid or the ba'alim. Kamashvalon, the Pasuk, Ubal Sharnaki, there's nothing. Says Gemara, Alpi Baalim, Maidibiknasu. What's Kufra? Kufra Kapara, Kufra Mamaina, it's a Knas. At the end of the day, it's a Knas. If it's a Knas and the owner himself is the one that testified that his ox killed someone, he wouldn't be Chayev anyway. So again, we have a problem. If there's one aid, then you don't have to pay at all. And if there's two aid, then he's Chayev Mis and he's not worth anything. So in what case? Is there koifer that you would think that you'd have to pay half if he's a tam? Kosova kufr kapara. Koifer is not. Stop. We have to. I know these are simple. You saw this in Shas, but we have to remember them. And also, kufr kapara. That the koifer is coming to give him a kapara on his avera. So if he knows that his bull killed, so he needs a kapara. He needs to do tshuva. You can't kill the bull, but you have to do how much tshuva? Maybe I would think since he's the time you pay half of the koifer. <laughs> Whatever the guy he killed is worth, he's worth a hundred, so you get fifty. Kamash malon, ubalashor naki, you don't pay anything. You don't need a kapara. Tanya Yidoch. And now we're gonna say even a stronger svara from Rivali Ezer. This svara was that it's about Khati Koifer. It's about a, a, a guy who 
his bull you can't kill, but the bull killed someone and he wants a kapara and he wants to pay a little bit. Okay, so we had a shail on it, but we have we have a svar from Rebbe There's no question on it. It's a strong pshat. Omer Rebbe Lezer. Akiva kachani be'enecha shedini bezeh shachayiv me. So you're looking at me as if I'm talking about a bull that you have to kill, and if you kill the bull, it's also bahana. It's worthless. Ain dini elu b'miskavin la'arig sabeima v'harig es adam. I'm talking about a case where the bull wanted to kill an animal. The animal jumped out of the way, and instead the bull killed a human being. Lemitri, Nachri, Vahar Yisrael. He was trying to kill Ovid Kachavim, and he instead killed a Jew. Lenefalim, he tried to kill a, a baby that it's not a Bar Kayama, it's going to die anyway within 30 days. Vahar Ben Kayama, and he killed a regular human being. And that's it. So, Mela, here you have a case where you don't kill the bull. You don't kill a bull. The bull didn't have kavana. The only way you kill Sokka, you suck Ashar, is if he has kavana to kill. If he doesn't have kavana to kill, you don't kill him. But you, the owner of the bull, you're Chayv Kaifer. I would think that if he's a time, you pay half. Come on, you don't pay at all. Says Gemara, hey, Omar Beresha. Which one? The second one has no questions on it. It's perfect. Everything is good. So maybe Rebbe Lezer answer Rebbe Kiva. I'm talking about this Kavan Lahari Gizeb, Har Gizeb. So we have a machlag. The good one. He said the strong one, the one that doesn't have any tightness on it. He said that shot first, that he had Kavanah to kill a, a bull, and he killed a human being afterwards. After you, and then he said the Shvacha one, the one that has questions on it. He said the one that he killed a human being with one aid, the testimony of one aid. And he said, oh, this is my class potter. We had problems with it. He said the, the strong one. Marshal. Marshal. You have a fisherman. He's catching fish from the sea. If he finds a very large fish, he takes the large fish, of course. It's worth a lot. Then... He takes the smaller fish over here also. He said a really good pshad, no questions. He took a large fish. Then he takes the smaller fish. He got, a, he got a, okay, he had some leftover room. Whatever he can have, whatever he can bring home. Why not take a smaller fish? No. He said the shvach pshad first. He finds a small fish, he takes it. But once he finds a large tuna, something valuable, then he, re- he throws out the small fish and he keeps the large fish. Why? Because he doesn't have room for the large fish. So I figured I need to demonstrate this live with real fish. Yeah. Because I didn't understand it when I read it. It's like, what's chat? Now I understand it. Kimat. This is, it's just going to take a few minutes. I, you got it. Yeah, this is going to be, I did this because I have a few people I love in this year. I know they love fish. Smelly fish. Yeah, maybe I should take off my suit. Nah, it's not that bad. Uh, you know what? Just leave on the light. Yeah. This no 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 it's 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 very important for the shot in the Gemara. You're not gonna understand this. <laughs> this um no, but th- this has to do with Hanukkah also. This ties into Hanukkah unbelievably. Don't worry. The, first we have to understand Pshat and Gemara. Other Shirim don't understand like this. Gantz, I'm not, I'm not into, this is uh, sponsored by Stefanski Tuna. All right, this is what we're going to call the small guys. He's like a schmack of fish. And this, oh. Uh, <laughs> Hold on. I, I'm going to throw these at the end, so if you're sitting in the back seats, I'm just kidding. 
Oh my gosh. It's a little slippery. Oy va voy. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> okay. It goes like this. If you put the small fish first, they're all large. I don't know. They don't sell small fish in this country. You, let's say you put these guys in first. So the problem is these guys come on top. You see how like this. They come above the, the rim over here. I'm out here. There's no way. This mom is pushing no way to get them in there. But if you reverse it, it's my gosh, Pasha. What are you saying? Yeah, now. Look at this. Look at this. The mom is fitting beautifully. Everything is within. Hold on. Let me get this guy's eye in there. Ah, like this. Okay. Now, do I understand the Pshat and Gemara? No, if you have smaller, I'll explain it a lot better. Here. Now, the Kavit Hanukkah, we're going to do something very, very special with these fish. We're going to make. Huh? No, 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 no. <laughs> There's going to be something really beautiful in a few minutes. It, it's, it's good for the shot. Listen, trust me, you're going to see there's something special coming up. Yeah, yeah, we're going to take this. Here, could somebody take this? Azoi, here. It does, you don't need gloves for this. Here, bring it to the kitchen and out comes mamish, something unbelievable for the oil. You're going to see, you're going to love it. Okay, just if anybody has nose plugs. Okay, Rabbi Isai, listen to this. First of all, I want to say like this. There's a beautiful marshal. Uh, a teacher came to the classroom and he had a, a glass bowl and he filled it up with marbles to the top. And he asked the students, could, could I put more into this bowl? They looked at it, it was to the top. They said, no. So he took it out from his pocket very, very small marbles and he put it in and it went in beautifully. That's, that's what the sugi is saying over here. Then he said, no, could you put more in? No. So he took out a bag of dirt and he, he poured it in and it filled in very nicely to the top. It was not to the top. He said, how about now? They said, no, can't put anything in. So he took a bottle of water and he poured it on top and the water went in. Beautiful. That's what's going on over there. And what's the marshal? The nimshal is when I go around and I try to get another guy, another fish for, for the daf. So the number one answer I think that people tell me is the reason why they don't do the daf, they don't have time. I have time. So that's your, your time is, is these marbles. When you fill up your time with all sorts of stuff, you don't have time, Taka. But Torah is nimshal to water. There's always room to learn the daf. When you're waiting at the bus stop, you can do five minutes here. When you're waiting over there, you're doing this, cut out the little YouTube, I'm talking to myself, do a little this, and you could fit in a lot more tiring your day than you actually believe you can. <clears throat> okay. <coughs> yeah. Zokti Gemara. Very, very important stuff. You'll never. So Nachamol. So Rashi says there's no room in the in the kli anymore for this for this for the for the fish. Okay. Tanya Yidach. Now that we're here. Balashor Naki, uh, another Pshat in Balashor Naki. Here, so we already learned uh, three Pshatim, and now another Pshat. Balashor Naki, Rabbi Yosef Agli Lohemin Naki, Midmei Vladois. So that's in black, Midmei Vladois, and we're talking about a Tam, we'll see in a second. It says like this in the Pashtun. Two men are fighting. Walks by a pregnant woman, and they hit her by mistake. One of the guys was wild, hit her. Uh, you could always imagine, like a, a wife comes over, stop, stop. She tries to separate two men fighting, and somebody elbows her or something by mistake. So onish you onish kashe yoshes all of bal isha vrasim flilim. You go to court, the judges flilim. You have to pay dmei vlades. It's called. You have to pay for the for the baby. So when a bull does the same thing, a bull kicks a woman in the stomach, let's say chaser shalom, and and she loses her pregnancy, he doesn't pay. That's what the pasuk comes to say. Baal Ashur Naki, a bull. The owner of the bull doesn't have to pay for that. Ask Rebbe Kiva, I don't need your pshat. I don't need your pasuk of Baal Ashur Naki. I learned from that pasuk itself. Men. It says Mufurish, men, human beings, and not bulls. It says Rebbe Kiva, Rebbe Kiva says beautiful. 
There are bulls that are similar to men. When I read it, I was thinking about Hamas. There are chayas that are similar to human beings. Huh? I don't even want to know. Not even. I, I, I'm sorry. I misused my lotion. They're not even a shor. Yeah. But I would think they have to compare a bull to a human being. That just like a human being, Adam Mu'ad Lo'ilam is born a Mu'ad, so too Shvar. I would think that a bull that's in his beginning, before he becomes a Mu'ad, he should be Chayv. That's why I need the pasuk. In a case of a tam, I need the pasuk of Baal Sharnaki. Now what? What comes out? What comes out? That a muad, a muad doesn't pay, and I would think that a tam does pay. Come on, someone he doesn't pay. No. <laughs> So that I mean, I know she will shvor my doing. I know she, I know she will my shvor more than I tam chayev. Yeah, I would think that a tam is chayev because of Rahmona Baal Shonaki the pot says Gemara on my rover. Yitziva ba'ara vigiyor bishme shmaya. It makes no sense what you're saying. You're telling me the, the simple option is the Yitziva ba'ara, a guy that's a resident, he's his feed, he's down here, vigiyor, an immigrant. We see this in America. A guy that jumps the border, give him all these benefits and this and Social Security and then Medicaid and then they jump the border. But that makes no sense. Why, why me? I'm a hardworking man. I don't get his benefits. Or Lahavdil in Erdisrol. A guy is Ole Chadash. So he doesn't have to pay taxes for 10 years and he, this, he doesn't have to, he gets a free this and the car he brings in, the whole thing. It's not fair. I'm here first. You should treat me better. So it doesn't make sense what you're saying. It's, it's hafuch al hafuch. You're telling me that a, that a guy that's a tam should, should be should be chayev. So here, uh, Yoshi did a beautiful piece. It took me some time to chap what it was. If you look closely, could you blow it up maybe? You see this in Eretz Yisrael all the time. I'll explain to you real quickly. The guy on the right in the Range Rover is an Arab. Because in Eretz Yisrael, they don't pay taxes. The Israeli guy, that's his car. Why? If you make a cheshman, a Toyota Sienna, which costs $40,000, let's say, in America... In Eretz Yisrael, it's 110% more. So it cost $84,000 for a simple Toyota Sienna that every Avrech in Lakewood has. It's, even, it's 425,000 shekels. It's over $100,000 for Toyota Sienna. Yet, when you drive in the streets, in, in, in let's say, in Mizrahi Shalim, whatever, these guys are driving the fanciest cars. So he's a, a ger here, and, he, and, he, and he's... A, He's in, he has better status than the Israeli Nevach guy driving his Susita. I don't know if anybody remembers the Susita. But, so, basically, uh, he, and he added this, right, boys? He added this piece. You lower the volume, though. Okay. This he didn't have to do. That, that was mean of him. That was mean. That, that I didn't ask for. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> talking about this okay fine got it all right boy say <clears throat> fine another thing I, I once heard a Rav say sometimes you see by Bali uh, let's say they just they come into Yiddishkeit and they immediately hop on to Kabbalah and all sorts of things and he said First, learn halacha, chumash, gemara. Then go into the mystical, the kabbalah, the the other dalach hakimim rumiz. First, daf yomi, exactly. First, daf yomi. Elo ma rove itzrich. So get the chamina anoshim v'li shvarim adorim la anoshim ma anoshim muadim af shvarim muadim. Just like human beings, muad af shvarim muadim. There are potter v'kavachoyim l'tamim diptiri. And I'll make a gavah chaim if a muad is potter. Certainly a tam is potter. Hazar kaser rachmana balashar naki. So you learn from this pasuk. What does the pasuk come to? Taich over here. Tam potter muad chayiv. Not true. A muad is chayiv and a tam is potter. Omar lei abaya elamiyatik abeboishes nami neimahachi. So 
Boish, as we know, a person who damages, causes nezek tzai ribish of his boish. Then we had this possible, we had a whole thing about this, right? I don't remember, like 15 days ago, let's say. Two men are fighting. So the woman comes to, 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 to save her husband. She embarrassed him. She grabbed him in an inappropriate place. So he's, she's Chayev Boishas. But that's the Gemara. You say the same Svara. Maybe it's like a Nashim. Maybe it's a Nashim. Maybe it's a Nashim. Just like human beings. They themselves are muad, so shvar a shvar is muad. But kavachoyim at the time of the theory, so you should be potter from the same shvar that you said before. That you potter from uh, you potter. So too over here by boys you should be potter. But the concept of rachmana bala shvar naki tam potter umuad chayav that a shvar muad is chayiv in boishes and uh, a tam is potter. So uh, the bottom line is, but what about a human being? Should be potter according to you. You should be potter from if it's true, listening to Balashar Naki, Rabbi Yossi Agli Loimer. In a shor, the shor, Rabbi Yossi says, Potter mid mei vladois, umi boishas. When the shor, sorry, when the shor attacks, two things he's potter from. Rabbi Yossi said he's only potter from mei vladois. According to you, he should be potter from boishas as well. <coughs> yeah, but his, his, his lima from Balash or Naki comes to exclude a tam from Baishas. Yeah, what is chai? But we, cut, we, we want to say another chiddush. According to your lima, a tam should be potter from Baishas, and he doesn't mention it. The word anashim, that if there's no tragedy, asim, there's no death, biisha yanchu. In other words, if the woman doesn't die, they just, just, they cause her to lose her baby, they have to pay Dmei Vladas. Yiyanshu. Yashasem Misha, La Yanshu. But if they kill her, then they don't pay for the Vladas. Why? Come, Levi, the Rabbi Minei. Vlai Shvarim. But that doesn't apply to Shar, because there's no come, Levi, the Rabbi Minei Shar. Davgav, the and Yanshu. Even if they kill the woman, they should be punished, and you should, the owner has to pay may bloodies. Okay, so that's why the Balashar is there. Balashar Naki comes to teach us that you potter from the may bloodies. You think that you chayev potter. Masculine vada barahava. Otu basin talia milsa. So, bikavana talia milsa. So, we have big machlaiz we're going to see in a couple of days. I think it's like Mendalin. More like Matsu Shabbos, I think. It's very interesting, Shiloh. A guy takes out a rifle with a scope. He points it at Ruvain, fires the bullet, goes to check that Ruvain is dead. And oy vey, it's Shimon. Oh, it reminds me, Nabuch, that just happened here in Eretz Yisrael with the, with the terrorist. The guy, the Jewish soldier, tried to kill a terrorist, and he killed, a, he, he, uh, killed a, an Israeli person. The, the, and the terrorist attacking your shrine. What are you looking at me like you don't know what I'm talking about? It just happened last week. No, 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 no. The terrorist attack in Yerushalayim, there was a Jewish soldier. Who, who killed the terrorist. No? Right. The, he thought that the Jew that killed the terrorist was a terrorist, and he killed him. Niskav and Laragazeh, he thought that he's killing a terrorist, and instead he killed, you know, it's a little different, a little, very different, because over here, he tried to kill a Yid, but he killed, instead of Reuven, he killed Shimon. So, is that considered premeditated murder? Because he tried to kill Reuven, and he ended up killing Shimon. But he tried to kill. Reb Shimon says yes. Yeah, it's different. Atu, all the other, fine, it's different. I'm asking. Atu ba'asa in Talia Milsa is dependent whether you, there was a death or not. Bekavan in Talia Milsa. According to Rabbi Shimon, he's going according to Rabbi Shimon, according to Ravada Barra says, according to Rabbi Shimon, it has to do whether or not you had intent to kill. Bekavan in Talia Milsa. Now, there's not enough time, but I, I love that came out this morning. I love this from, from all the Lashonis that we saw in Shas. It's beautiful. Bekavana Talia Milsa. Everything is Tali in Kavana. The thing is Tali is hanging by Kavana. So it, it has to do with learning. It has to do with davening. It has to do with even Hanukkah. I'll just say this real quickly because I called up a Choshev Rav, uh, Rabbi Baruch Rav, yesterday. And he told me, oh, it's this that you called me. I need to remind you. So I'm reminding Dalai I'm just telling you what he said. When you light the candles, you get down for anything he said. You sit there for a half hour in front of the candles. That's what Hasidim do. 
And you could ask B'Kavana for anything. It's a very, it's a school, but Kavana Tanyim also. Elomer of Adabar Ahava, Anoshem ki niskavnu, you're right. Okay, fine, you're, you're right. That's to do with his intent. Ki niskavnu zelo zeh, when they had Kavana to, to hit each other, to kill each other, Afakav Shiyesh, Osem Bisha, even though, you're right. So according to Rabbi Shimon, if Ruven is fighting with Shimon, he's, he wants to kill him, and he shoots Shimon, but instead he shoots the woman, he kills the woman, then, ki niskavnu liisha atzma, loy yiyonchu. Sorry. Even though they ended up murdering this, this woman, because according to Rabbi Shimon, so since you're potter, you're chayiv in paying money. You're chayiv for the mei vladis. However, but if they had intent to kill her herself, you don't have to. Where's that, uh, Tomer? Where's that uh, beautiful thing? You just, yeah, well, I think it's Kedai, just for a minute, because I think it's going to mamish. Uh, Dalit was not going to be able to do it. It's also to learn Torah in the room at the same time. Why? Because come live your If they kill the woman herself, there's no, you don't have to pay money. But by, when it comes to a shard, I feel it's by a shar, that a kavana to kill a woman, there is no common rabbi by a shar. So both, okay, whatever you do to the shar, you do, you kill, but he also has to pay for the mevla. This kasher achmano bal shar naki, and that's why the tari comes and says bal shar naki the ptira there is no mevla. This when it comes to a shar. The chenki also rav chagai midruroima. So first of all, rav chagai we had in moyit katan that he was a tremendous, tremendous gadol because at the age the gemara says over there that he couldn't find people like him at the age of eighteen. He knew Kalatari Kula back seven forwards. The other thing is that uh, the, the um, Maritz Chayi says that, why does it say Midoraima? Because there was a thing to say, oh my gosh, maybe take off the, uh, the, the plastic. I don't want to take off the plastic here. Shem Yirachim. Okay. You don't have to turn around. It's nothing. Trust me. It's not garnish. <sighs> so he came from Dorim because Dorim is where the. The Gemara says in Psachim that they opened up their own yeshiva, they didn't want to have anything to do with the Tamil Chachamim. So it says, even though he said it in a derogatory way, Midaraima, it's coming from the south. Yet he brought with him a Mishnah, Okay, so we, we give him covet. Even though he comes from the south, we still he brought he brought a proper piece of Torah. We're gonna we're gonna be machshev. Tanya Yidoch. Another pshat. Balashur Noki Rebekiva Oimer Noki Midmei Eved. So here's the final pshat. That Baal Shonoki comes to say that you don't pay for the slave. That what? That if a tam, a bull, a tam, kills a slave, you don't pay for him. Ask the Gemara of the name of Rebekiva and Afshay. Rebekiva himself, who asked the bomb question of Eliezer. How is it possible? You better move away. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I'm not touching it. Yeah. No, it's Pasha. Uh, what? What do you mean? Uh, just for a minute. Just for a minute. We have to uh, the covered Hanukkah. It's the seventh day. Dag. This dag is uh, four and three, seven. What are you talking about? It stinks. It's uh, it's a beautiful. Wow. Oh, it matters things. Okay. Raboy said we got to take it out. We got to take it out before we finish. <laughs> How many is this? Oh. You know, you know how to sing, Raboy said you can't sing. You can't sing. Lamaisa <laughs> sat outside all night long. I don't know. Wow, this is real. I'm not, we already how many how many of these uh, thumbnails? Which one? The first or the second? This is better. Okay. Yofi. Yeah, let's go weiter. Reboy Sai, the turning of the daf. These candles over here, sponsored by Hanan Averbach and his wife Shira, Leilu Nishmas, his holy nephew. Binyamin Meir Benzev David.
And Lilu Nishmas bin Yamin Meir ben Ze'ev David. My boy says it's a perfect opportunity now that it smells so good to remember the Soid Vishur Shavoida that when it comes to Hanukkah, we only have two days left to give Zdaka. I know, I know for a fact not everybody gives Meiser. What's Pshat? Here's an opportunity, don't give Meiser. A dollar a day, $36 a month is even better. $360, like I forgot the person's name, is even better than that. Go, give a little Zdok, it's not going to hurt you. Aser, Bishvil, Shittis Asher. Okay. Reboisai, this, this is where your money goes. What do you think, this, these heads are cheap? You think these heads are cheap? Zakti Yimara. Can we turn this off? Could somebody take this out? It's cooking up the fish. <laughs> hold on, hold on a second. I want to see what this is, but MS. This, this is the real thing, if anybody thought it's fake. Wow, but oh, salmon. Yeah, but it, it stayed out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If Dailam could take this, Ken Mamish learned Torah right here. Yishkoyach Gadol to Tomer, who his car, you can never drive in his car for the next. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Yishkoyach Gadol, wow. Okay. Omer Rav Shmuel, oh, where? Oh. So Rabbi Isai, we had a big shail over here. Rabbi Kiva says to Rabbi Eliezer, if we're talking about a tam, and the tam is killed. <laughs> hold on a second, hold on a second. I called the Seder. <laughs> yeah, so it, the question is, if it's a tam, then he dies. The, the animal dies, suckle you suckle, and nothing is left over. So what, what's shy, what, what connection does it have to, how are you going to pay it for Evit? You only take from the, the time itself. So good, take this uh, dead animal that's Zosibana uh, and let's see what the Bezin can do with it. He has a teretz because it's talking about that the guy did something illegal. He went and he shechted the animal before Bezin had a chance to do anything. Maybe since you shechted it before Bezin got a chance to be done, now it's not Zosibana. You don't pay for it. Says Gemari, Hachi, the Rebbe Lezer, Nami. So say the same exact answer when Rebbe Kiva asked Rebbe Lezer. And you're saying now that Rebbe Kiva has a good answer. Answer that answer to Rebbe Lezer. Nami, Kishikot, Mishchotoy. Nachi, the what? Um, I just want to go back to Rebbe Lezer. What? Yes. Rebbe Lezer is the one that says, Chatsi Koifer, that a tam killed a uh, person. That you don't have to pay Chatsi Koifer from Nachi El Balog. So maybe he's talking about, oh, and he asked him, how's it possible he's a dead animal? No, he shechted him before he's dead, before Bezin had a chance. Hochinami, says the Gemara, you're right. V'savar, Rebbe Kiva thought, Dilma isli taim achrina da'adif mihai. Rebbe Kiva's kind of fooling him. He asked him this question, and he had the question on himself. He has another, Rebbe Kiva also has a similar pshat, that's talking about the Pasuk Gubal Shonaki, that you, that you don't pay the Mayavid. And he had the question, it's not worth anything anyways. So he decided to ask Rebbe Eliezer, maybe Rebbe Eliezer will come up with a better idea than he himself had, without saying this pshat, that maybe Kodam, that he jumped ahead and he shechted it before Bezan had a chance. Says Gemara, but if it's a good answer, Rebbe Eliezer, Nami, Lushan, sorry. Rebbe Eliezer, Nami, asked the Gemara, Lushan, Kodam, Shkotoy, how come Rebbe Eliezer doesn't use the answer? Oh my Allah, Chosim, the Nisqav, and the Haragis, HaBehem, of Ragis, HaAdam. When a person... Sorry, the animal tried to kill the behema, and he killed the person. The shor lav bark talu klal. You don't kill the animal. Why? Because he has to have come and kill a human being. The and the chamino and the Okay, so there's a sh- thought. Maybe you should have to pay kaifer. It's a kral mute, and the pasuk says you don't. Avul hacha. What happened over here? The mikar bark hava. This bull, you should kill him. So what? The owner of the bull went and did shtick before bezin had a chance to. to to decide the, the fate of this bull, he went and he shechted him real quickly. It says Gemara, according to Rebbe Lezer, kro afagav the For that, you don't need a pasuk for, for shtik macher. The, the bottom, this animal is oimid lemisa. Oimid lemisa, you don't you don't take kaifer from him. 
As it says the Gemara, Rabbi Kiva Nami Vadi Yochav. It doesn't Rabbi Kiva admit to this logic. If the Torah says that this bull is Chayiv Misa, so if you go a minute before Bezim passes his Chayiv Misa, and you try to shecht him, of course you're not going to take from him. El Omer Ravasi, Homisam Pita Gavir Rabbi Shmi. I heard this from a very great man, Umanu Rabbi Yosi Rabbi Chanina. So that the Chamina Hoyu Omer Rabbi Kiva Aftam Shachov Abad Misham B'Moisin Nekis Shalom. Oh, it goes like this, Rabbi Yosi. Check this out real quickly. We have. A bull that damaged the person, they had a fight, okay? They, they put them in the backyard, their own, they made their own calcium in the backyard. The human being damaged 50 of the bull, and the bull, of course, got the upper hand, he has horns and he's stronger, he beat up the person 100. What's the difference in the damage? 50. The bull did 100 to the person, and the person did 50 to him, so the total damage is 50. So if the, the, the bull is a tam, he owes 50. Half of 50 is how much? So he should pay 50. Half of that is 25. He pays 25. Rebbe Kiva holds no. When we're dealing even with a tam, when we're dealing with a bull against a human being, the damage is 50. How much does he pay? The full amount, 50. Whatever is left over between the 100 and the 50, the leftover is 50. He pays like, oh, so I would think, he's paying a full amount. Who pays full amount? A muad. And a muad pays from Aliyah, not Migufoy. So I think once you're giving, once he has to pay the full amount, and he, we act, we treat him as a muad, and a muad pays from his real estate, from the best of the best. So here also, he shouldn't pay from his body, he should pay from the best. That's the final thing. That's why I think. The, says the positive Baal Shranoki, he know he pays Megufa. And the Rabbi Kiva Lishitase, this is Rabbi Kiva and Rabbi Kiva, Rabbi Kiva's Shad and Rabbi Kiva's Lishitase. Omele Rabbi Zerah the Ravasi. Vatavi Rabbi Kiva Ligzize. Rabbi Kiva broke this, this powerful thing. He, like he broke his fist. The Sanyi Rabbi Kiva Oimer, Yochel Yishalem and Aliyah. From a different, I don't need Baal Shranoki for this. I would think that he has to pay when he pays. He pays from the best. I'm a Lomik and Mishpat Azei Yosaloi. Loi, him, the bull, Migufa Mishalve Mishal Min Aliyah. So I don't need the Pasuk, Baal Shranaki. El Amarava Itzrich. You do need the Pasuk. So I mean, Ahoyo, Machmirani, Be'evid Yosim, Ben Choyrin. I would think that you're Machmir and a slave more than a Ben Choyrin. It's interesting, because you can look at it both ways. How, when, a, when, when a bull kills a slave, how much do you pay? 30, regardless of how much the slave is worth. Is that a Chumro or a Kula? It depends how much the slave is worth, how much of the person is worth. If it kills a five thousand dollar person and he only has to pay thirty, it's a kula. If it kills a one dollar person, and he pays thirty, it's a big chumrah. The Gemara looks at it as a chumrah. Why? Because slaves are usually not thirty. Thirty is a lot for a slave. So it's always it's usually a chumrah. But when he comes and he kills a slave, he offers sell a nice insulation. He still has to pay thirty, even though he's only worth one. That's a big chumrah. So I would think, since it is a big chumrah and a slave, so I would think, let's go all the way with him when be machmer and pay the best of the best. That I need a pasuk. That's the bottom line. Tanya kavas the rava. I have proved him. Balashar noki. Rabbi Kiva oimer noki mit meyaved. Rabbi Kiva says. That the pasuk, of the fifth shad in Bala Shornaki is that you don't pay the money of the slave. I would think this is a kavachoyim. You pay thirty for a slave. V'chiyev b'ven choyre and you pay koyfer. Makish v'chiyev b'ven choyre and chalakta boy ben tam lemuod. There's a difference. You only pay koyfer when when it's a muod and not a tam. Avkish v'chiyev b'eved nachlik ben tam lemuod. So too, when you pay for the thirty of slave, it should this should be enough community in the time and the muod. Void kavachoyim. Another guy, Uma ben Chayyim Shenois and Kol Shav Shaviyoi. When it comes to a regular person, you pay whatever he's worth. Koyfer is whatever that person is, the, the dead person is worth. Chalak the boy. Being time the mood, he still made enough kemina between the time and the mood. Eved Chayin Chayin Shenois and El Shloishim and he didn't Shenach Liboy being time the mood. That's similar to what we said before. Shloishim. So yeah, Loi Machmireni be Eved. No Loi Machmireni be Eved. Yoisim ben Chayyim Shven Chayyim Yofas Sela Nois and Sela. When it comes to killing a person, you give exactly what he's worth. So that's Rabbi Svar, that if a slave is worth only Selah, you still give 30. You see, you're more Machmer. So I would think that a Tam is Chayov. 
Naki midmei eve. That's why that's the final pshat in Basra. Naki. I think that that's how Rav explains that since I would think that uh you, that by eve you're machmer, so you, you should have to pay. You don't have to pay. Raboisai, have a wonderful day. Afrel chachana. We'll say till them together if you can. Shira malo is mi mama kiv kiro sicho adinoi adinoi shemo bekoli tienos davgan shavos de kodesh adinoi. Im avo inoi sti shmor yo adinoi mi amoi kifas sicho liman tivorei. Kivisi adinoi kifso nafshi b'dvoro yecholti nafshi la adinoi mishemrim la boike shemrim la boike. Yachel Yisrael el adinoi kim adinoi yaches el varbei moi fedus. Oh,